episode of Fishing Planet with Finesse God Max Rod. Hey, how you guys doing today? We are going to do a competition today, fellas. I got to do something real quick. One second. <coughs> I'm back, I'm back. Just a few minutes out from our next competition, but that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna slide off in the, uh, <coughs> into a competition real quick. It's only floating pose only. I wanna try shiners with, I wanna get me a few practice strokes in real quick before I start competition, see how big a hook I can use on these things. <sighs> Cause uh, I need to really probably read the rules again before I go off in here tripping out. Uh, let's go to Bigger Bobber. I'm going to four out set the first try. Just to see what it does, guys. Just to see what it does. Got me a few new poles. See, I ain't been here since I got my new poles. I'm gonna go out here and see if I can how far I can cast here. But pretty much just try to get ready for this competition. <sighs> Every time I get on here. Allergies start bothering me like crazy. We're going to leave that at 30. wonder how far I can get out of here, tell you the truth. With this new pole, i got to see where it goes. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. See if I can catch anything with this four-out hook. I might just go ahead and go down to two, but, you know, it's worth the try. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, my bad, sorry about that. <clears throat> I don't know why, as soon as I get on here, my allergies start beating me up. As soon as I start recording. And yeah, if this works, we get us a couple of them. We'll enter the competition with a four out hook. I'm, I'm watching a lot of competitions on uh, YouTube, and uh, all I see is people using two out hooks. So, you know. We gotta test that theory in my videos. So we're gonna do a competition. <laughs> Try to name the videos so we all can, y'all can look at them and we can figure out what the best plan is. Although I feel like in competitions, everything ain't the same. Um, shiners, uh, I'd say shiners work in competitions, but <laughs> since, uh, <coughs> sorry about that, since they're the number one bait for competitions uh, but they cost too they cost quite a quite a penny I don't, I don't know it's 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 I don't know which one will, will work better during competition I think the rules change during competition I bet you <coughs> a different kind of bait altogether works best in competition I bet put you a big old worm out there old school fishing we probably catch a fish we might have to try that too, put a old worm on there and throw it out there. Cause this, uh, 
This right here is looking too big. There's more fish out there. It shouldn't take that long. Hey, we'll, we'll try to bring them in. We'll try to throw them in the same spot to see if we get the different results. But all I'm going to do is put a number two out hook on there. I will go three, but there's not a lot of difference there, I don't think. Not a lot of difference, I don't think. Okay, there goes that one. And then another one should begin. Let's go. Uh, we can th try three out hook. Same setup. Same old setup. I, I didn't even see how far it got out there a while ago. <coughs> See if, the, <coughs> see if this three hop make it move. If it make it move a little bit, we'll we'll, we'll work with this one. But if not, and and it should should have took it at four. I'll tell you the truth. Then we'll try. Depending on how much time I got in this competition. If it's a two-hour competition, I'll try a couple more tricks before we start the competition. But if it's just one hour, we need to go and get in there and try to get our places. And we'll just shorten it down to a two lot and try to go at what everyone else is going with. I don't see how I'm not getting no bites yet. I like those minnows too. I might go half and half. I might try minnow and then uh, shiner and then minnow then shiner just because I think I don't know. We'll see. I think I, li I like minnows. They move a lot faster in the water. They seem to seem to move a wee bit more. Like this guy, he's just straight chilling. And then we'll pull him in and we'll throw a minnow out there and see how these minnows act. With a three odd hook. And then we'll go in the competition because we don't have to test the, t the theory on a two odd hook. Yeah, we shouldn't have to test that theory. Let's see if we can get off of here with some of them is. I like that tree there. Usually in this tree right here. Let's see if we can get them to budge. So this game is still pretty fun, guys. I'm still really enjoying kicking back fishing. There's still quite a bit of places I haven't been yet, though. And that kind of sucks. But not really. I mean, it just sucks that I still haven't been there. As long as I've been playing those, this game, it's kind of cool that there's still a lot of game left to, to explore. I've been as far as... Uh, I'm at Alberta. I, ha I need to go to Alberta and own up from there. I've been to Louisiana, but I skipped Alberta to go to Louisiana, but, um, you know what I'm saying? I still got to go to Alberta and all the way up from there. I'm only at level 30, so everything's unlocked to there. I get the idea of where I've been and where I haven't been. But I'm ready to go to Alberta. It's just a pretty penny to get to Alberta, but I got nice stuff. I got a big bag and stuff like that. Oh, oh. To uh, to put a lot of fish, and I got a 200 pound bag, so anywhere I go, I can make tons of money, which is cool. Oh, okay. Well, with now let's see the size of this big boy. Let's see the size of him, because if it's worth something, then we got a plan, guys. And uh, that's on a minute. I like those minutes, boy. Let's see what his size is. Ah, young Northern Pike, but that's still on a three out hook, guys. <coughs> I guess stick with the three out hook and go uh, a larger bait. Keep that. Um, it's a little tricky there, guys. To me, I don't. I don't really. I don't know. 
I just placed 19 in the bass competition. No rewards. We'll see if we can get better. Let's see if we can get better here. At this competition. Yeah, my predator hunt, guys. Let's, let's go ahead and get this started. I don't want you guys waiting. We'll, we can s switch up stuff on the fly if we need to. I hope no one. Oh, I don't know. I hope no one's in here. I hope I'm the only one here. That'd be cool. We're going to go ahead and start with some shiners, guys. Oh, there they are. There they are. It's in the same shots. Let's get over here in the bushes. You know where we stay. See how we can do, guys. Hope we can finally get us some placement off in here, guys. That'll be real nice. I'd like to win. If I don't win, I'd like to at least place or something. I'd like to get a different barber, too. This barber might try to trick me. I have to watch him close. Let's go. Hope I didn't land in a crazy spot. Be trying to win old competition. Well, those guys are catching fast already, ain't they? We got 45 minutes to do our thing. Yep, this is ugly, guys. Ugly already. Come on there now. All right, we don't have time to wait. We got another idea. Got another. Let me see what the good degrees is out here. 62. And I'm at, yeah, we'll go to 25, something like that. Let's go back here in our little secret spot. See if we can pull out some monsters from the bee hand. Hopefully we can do something, guys. Hopefully we didn't just come out here. I don't want to just come out here. Uh-oh, we got snag. Okay, get out the snag. Come on now, let's do something. Hopefully something chased it. That's probably why it's snagged. Hopefully. Let's see, we gotta watch a bar over there because that thing we can't see it from over here. Looks like we're finna get hit though. Looks like it's finna come. Come on. Come on. There we go, guys. There's our first hit on the three out hook. Hopefully, we got some weight in here, guys. Oh, yeah, we got a little weight. We got a little wet. We're keeping. Let's go on back. Back on back in the back here. A little bit further than I wanted to go, but they're back there. They're back there, so we're we're good on that part. I do believe they're back there. I don't know if I can throw all the way back there from the bridge. Come on, go to moving around for me. Let's go, little bobber. Do me some good. Do me some good, guys. Hopefully we can get off in there like swimwear. Don't see our barber doing much flex. Don't see it doing much flex at all. But hopefully it will. We have to have a little bit of patience. Hopefully I ain't throw it in the wrong place over in some dang on grass. We just sitting here waiting in the grass. Doesn't look like it's moving at all, though. 
So we're gonna bring it in. It didn't say a fish moved either, so we're good on that end. We ain't gonna try to sit here and play too much. We're gonna try to fish the whole time. See how far I can get up in here where I used to get. I wanna see. Let me see, let me see. Is it real light? You know, I'm in these bushes, see if I can catch something real quick. Come on, baby, give me one of them big boys out of there. I know there's something back there waiting on me. I know there's something back there waiting on me. Uh oh, he's moving, guys. Looks like he tried to take a little step. Looks like he tried to move again. Come on now. Come on. 40 minutes in the competition. I only got one fish in the barrel. Come on now, hit him. Hit him. Can't see my old barber. Come on now. I tell you what, these competitions is rough. Try to play it with the best sense I got. Yeah, we're going to have to get that out of there. We can't wait that long anymore. Let's go back right out here. Let's go right back right there then. I was going to try to get a special place, but... Looks like we better, son of a bitch. Looks like we gotta try to play it safely right there. Give it just a few minutes, see if he'll start moving around, and we'll move him again. Come on now, let your boy in here. Let me up in here, old grass picker, find something. Competition kind of sucks here. Let's go and get him out of there and put him somewhere else. Uno mas porpivori. Let's get you right off in here somewhere. There we go. There we go. I see something jumping out there too. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully I landed on it. Hopefully I landed on it. Uh, yeah, uh, after this, I'm gonna take that two out hook off. I mean, that three out hook off, I'll put that two back on. We might be missing bites like that. But I don't think, but we'll try it. Tell you what, those minnows, I like those minnows a little bit better too. They move a little bit more for me. But we might have to just try to stick with what we got, see what it does. Come on now. Out there just getting your old sunbathe on. What's going on here? That thing just chilling to you. Come on now. Yeah, I might have to go to the bridge and figure something out over there. I like this spot, but it's just so finicky. Yeah, you're out of here. That's the end of that shit. I'm going to switch that hook for sure before we freaking lose. Two out on that bad boy. Get our butts over here on this bridge, see if we can pull something in. One dang gone fish. Boy, I tell you what, that sucks. One fish. Let's see if we can get another one. From my little lucky tree right here. Hopefully, it'll bag me one of them big leather ones. One of them big old leather fish. One of them big northern pikes. Come on, northern pikes. Sneak out that bush. 
see if we can run him out of there. See if we can run him out of there, guys. I don't know. But we got a two out hook on, so we got the best chances in, in, on the line. We got the best setup on the line. Now we just need this joke to move. I might need to, like I say, switch over to them dang on minnows. I like the minnows a lot better. Ooh, I see water bubbles and I want to go for them. Yeah, you better move. I'm going for water bubbles. Ooh. Is a 2 yeah. OTT hook one of the biggest? Yes, uh, any of the O is the bigger ones, and the ones with the number sign in the front are the smaller ones. The one with the ot in the back is the big, the huger ones. But a one is a smaller one, and uh, then they go up from one, one ot, two ot, three ot, four ot. Mm. Yep, that's not working either. Oh my goodness, man, this fishing freaking sucks sometimes. I think I'm going back to my minnows up to you. I tell you what. I see fish jumping too. I ain't catching shit. Come on, get in there. Let's get the hell off these shad. Get the old lucky old minnows. Get over here while I see them jumping out. Put me in the game, coach. Oh my god. Of course, I th got them little baby hands. He's got baby hands. Little baby hands. I did it again. Oh my God. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Freaking competition. I I'm a pretty to low level, but I've been catching quite a bit of catfish lately. About uh, one to one and a half pounders. Yeah, is yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, they're just not worth a lot of money. You have to, it's better to find your fish like a bass to catch because fit catfish are cool, but they're just not worth a lot of money till they get bigger per pound, anyways. Come on now, give me a fish out of here. Damn, I can't catch one damn fish. I can't get one fish, guys. I like these competitions, but they drive me loony. They drive me a wee bit loony tune. Fish bubbling all around my little thing here, and they ain't messing with it. That's what sucks about these competitions. Something's going on here. Something's really going on here, guys. Yeah, there we go. Run, damn it. Did he get him? He's going to run right by him. We're going to miss a whole fish. We finna miss a whole bite? Yeah, we missed a whole bite. There we go. Hopefully we can get him now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No love. He's running now again. Let's see what he do. That makes me seem like my hook is too big, but it's not. I know it's not. And if it is, I don't want nothing smaller than that. Come on now. These competitions are weird, boy. I tell you what. There he goes again. See what he does. He's running good, too. Go and get him. Dang it. Nothing. 
This is crap. This is crap, y'all. This is fucking bull crap. Well, well. Let's go ahead with their things and let's throw in the bubbles. There's bubbles right there. Come on, bubbles. Provide. Provide, bubbles. Can we get them to provide? Or is competition something that I need to really stop doing? This is sad. I only catch one fish. I lo freaking love sweet waters. I can finesse sweet waters like none other, but I can't catch a fish right now. I caught one fish in 30, what, 15 minutes? Mm. Hmm. Looks like that's about all we're going to catch in 30 minutes. In 15 minutes, I mean. <coughs> yeah, boy, these competitions is raw business. It seems a little unfair. Look at the bubbles. That's the fish I'm hunting, too. That's sad. Come on, can I get a bite? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, boys, this is this is competition here, boys. It is finest. No fish in the water. Hmm. Let's do something different, guys. Let's do something different. Uh, put me old cheater bait out real quick. See if I can finesse a little something with a little something different. If, if I, I use, use a bigger hook, hook will the fish, fish change, change or does it just depend on the bait? Bigger hook, bigger fish. Little fish can't get on the big hook, so you eliminate the, the smaller fish with a bigger hook. Hmm. 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 Can I pull me some out, guys? Down to 53rd. And no bites on that right there. So let's go ahead and get that out of there. Yeah, that thing's not done nothing. Okay, okay. I guess it's time to just sit here, guys, and just let it do what it do. Yep, time to just sit here and see what we can let it do by itself. Let's put our shiners on and go for a gusto. Got 26 minutes just to stay in one spot. And that's what we gonna do, guys. See how far out there we can get. And that's what we gonna do. Sit right there all the rest of this competition. <laughs> Keep our line tight. Just hope something happens. So we got 25 minutes. That's a good amount of time to catch a lot more fish. I don't know what the hell's going on. I have no idea what's going on. 
I lowered my lead though to 15 inches, so maybe because I was a little deeper, it's 62 degrees. That might be a little higher. Mm -hmm. I love this game. <laughs> Freaking sad shit, bro. You know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? I want to go ahead and go for my spot. Uh, over here in those bushes right there. Maybe I can get a little something out of there. <clears throat> Let's put it off in our little, little honey hole right here. See if we can yank something up out of there. If it's not too damn low, my barber said, Oh, yeah, we're good. My barber said, Good. Super duper fishing today, guys. Heck of a competition. <laughs> At least I caught one fish, though. <laughs> that thing's trying to hide in those bushes, look like. Mm hmm. Goodness, this is a hard competition. 23 minutes, one fish only on the line. Shit, sad. Let's get up in there. Sean is supposed to be busting heads. I don't know what's going on. I'm supposed to have me in there a little bit. What rod do you use mainly? Uh, uh I'd say my uh my bait caster. I like to use uh those spoons and sp yeah, I like to use spoons. I float uh, I float fish a little bit, but not too often. But I like to float fish just for those little fish because I like to get my gold coins for catching them. from completing your challenges. Yeah, boy, I tell you what, they ain't gonna give me no fish. But we ain't gonna move them because we ain't got no other choice. I didn't move too much. We know there's fish there. So all we gonna do is just watch it. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Take off, little barber. Take off, little barber. <whistles> yes, indeed, guys. We're going to shoot a video right after this to show how easy it is to catch fish here. I haven't been here in a while. I want to fill up my bags. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull out my spoon in my big pole and play a little bit in Emerald for the day. And then this competition, I think, will add another day. I only got one day, but they'll give me another day for being here during the competition. Look at yonder. Hopefully, we got a little something on the line, guys. He's moving a little, a little erratic. That don't mean nothing. There we go. There we go, guys. He's moving a little erratic. 
Sorry for all the questions but if I can make good cash where in that should I invest in a better suited rod for the water I'm in? Uh, I didn't really catch all that what you said. Uh, should you get a better rod for what now? For um, And really, you don't really need a better rod quite yet. Uh, Cause the fish, if you do buy a rod, check this out. The fish you're catching until you get, uh, I'd say probably to level 17. The fish you're catching are going to be under four pounds. So long as your rod can pull in a four pound fish and under, you're good. You don't need a reel. But when you get up, say past, say when you get to probably, uh, I'd say Rocky Mountains. If you, whenever you're ready to go to Rocky Mountains, that's when you probably need to get a little bit bigger pole. But until then, you you got a lot of leveling up to do. You don't really need a bigger pole quite yet. But yeah, and then like I say, plus you'll go in there and you'll just spend a lot of money on a pole, and it probably is gonna be like one pound more than the pole you already have. It's not really gonna be worth your money. You know what I'm saying? to get a like a compared to a and and plus like i say it's going to be harder to fish too because your pole is going to be op and you you it's going to be too powerful for the fish to catch it let's say in texas when you're fishing those bass the the pole i got right now it's hard for me to catch bass there because my pole is so i guess op you know what i'm saying it's so i got to kind of farm other stages and it's a lot easier for me to farm other stages too. I go to Texas now with because this. Because I've stuck with the pole I started with and it pulls about two to four, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, until, like I say, you you uh get to higher levels. Like when you maybe, because like I say, all the way, to, uh, I'm going to say Naharam. There's big catfish and gar in the harem, but that's the only thing that's big in the harem. Now, you maybe when you get there, you might want to, but catfish, they're not worth fishing for. Bass are a lot worth fishing for. Those catfish, they're so big, but they don't, they're not worth a lot of money. And you try to put them in your bag, you got one fish for $500, where if you get two bass for, you know, two pounds a piece, that's almost $500 compared to one big ass catfish that's 20 pounds for $500 ain't worth it. But yeah, nah, you just need that pole for a while until you, like, uh, but it's really kind of, like I said, it's up to you, but just, just look at your poles. Don't get tricked, you know, by looking at your poles and then saying, okay, I'm gonna buy this pole for this much money. And you're really not getting nothing but an extra pound out of the pole. That's really not worth it. You know what I'm saying? You go from a level four pole, I mean, a four pound pole to maybe like a level, I mean, a nine pound, 11 pound pole. That's worth it. But not from four to six now. But even like I say, even in that, you're still going to not really be using that pole because it's going to be so overpowered of the places you're in till you move up a little bit in stages. Oh, well, we still can't get a bite, guys. <laughs> but we're not going to move and we're going to sit there because there's look at them bubbles all around us. But we can't get a bite. I tell you what, this game is something else. But it's a lot of competitions that's going on tonight, and I want to get in them because they're they're here early. They they're usually real late. I already got in one competition. I got pretty good in there, but of course somehow I just stopped catching fish. I was doing good too. My first fish was huge. Second fish good. Third fish good. No more fish the whole damn time. I'm like wow, this shit's crazy. Like right here, five minutes of fish. Cause they're right there. I don't know, I think that's what it is too. We'll give you one fish every five minutes. If you stay there, you might win the contest. If you get to bouncing around, you ain't gonna win nothing. Come on now, move around, do something good. Do something good, old thingy. It'd be nice to pull out one more. No, I want about at least two or three more of them jokers. Come on now. <laughs> Been 
And I just kind of fish them so hard. Yeah, start moving, little buddy. Swim. Because I sure want to move you, but I know it ain't really worth it. Because these dang pike is all in this darn thing. <coughs> Got more bubbles bubbling up I around. I fish quite well with the bobber in almost every place I've been so far, so if I have two float rods, should I use both? Why would you have two float rods, though? That if you don't need two float rods, I would not buy two float rods. You you don't need that. You, if you could use two poles at one time, yeah, I would use two float rods, but you can't use two, float, two poles at one time. You only can use one, so why have two of the same poles? It, maybe if you got one bigger and one smaller, but like I say, there's no need for it because you ain't going to catch nothing but two and a half pound fish, two pound, one pound fish until you get like a level 16. So you're going to buy one pole, and I guess you can use them both like if it's really necessary to you like that, but I don't see a reason for it. Because then you might find a place that you really want to throw your spoon at, and you don't even have a spoon to throw. You're just sitting over here with two floats. Like, damn... Yeah, that don't, to me, now, when you get a uh, a rod case where you can hold two or three poles, then yeah, I would. But not if you only can hold one or two poles. I don't know why you'd want to keep this two of the same poles. And, and like I say, you're probably, the level you are, you probably can't unlock nothing but another pole that's the same weight, you know, that that one is. Or maybe a pound over, so you really run around two of the same poles. Ain't no reason to do that. Yeah, ain't no I don't, I don't see no reason to have two poles. I don't understand that one. Uh, what you need to do though is keep your money and in the the way to make money in this game is investing in your keep net. That's what you need to invest in. And the rest of the shit you don't need to buy anything but you know, a couple of pieces of tackle, maybe yeah, so that's about it, some tackle. But you need to save your money all the way through this game as far as you can. You got you got to realize most of the shit on this game is just eye candy. A lot of it is bullshit. A lot of it you don't need. A lot of it is just, it's just money, and it makes you spend it, and then you get to where you want to be, and you ain't got no money because you keep going to the candy store. <laughs> but, yeah, when you get uh, higher in the levels, you'll get to where you can you can spend money like that, but right now I'd advise you to save and, and you know, maximize your your spending. I mean, maximize your vacations. If you take a go somewhere, go for three days at least so you can pay for your trip, make money, and make money, and then come back. You know what I'm saying? But if you go on a trip for one day, buy a license for one day, then you're wasting money. You're not going to go down there with that bag that you got right now and make any money. So you got to try to stay as long as you can because each day you empty your bag and that's how you get your money. Damn it. Get a, oh, this thing gets on my fucking nerves. 12 damn minutes. I'm still at fucking see. That shit's crazy. But that's how the cookie crumbles this here. Uh. That's how the cookie crumbles, Holmes. <sighs> say, and another big tip is, say if you go on a three-day vacation, buy your license for only one day because license is for 24 regular hours in, in, in a regular day. That's why that date down there is a regular date and the time is a regular time. And so it's 24 hours from the time you bought it to you know what i'm saying and you're probably not going to spend 24 hours you might spend 24 hours in a place you know in game three days so that's how you save money too is don't buy three days vacation and three days license because then that's you know three actual real days of license that you really don't need when you i probably... first seen how i was catching and how fast my bag got full i invested in the biggest bag my level reached yeah, yeah, that's what that's how you make your money and then just hold off and try to stack money cuz look at look when you go to your world map, look at how much it costs to go to some of those stages and you'll realize that you're in trouble. You need to make a lot more money. <laughs> you need to not be spending at all cuz I mean, $10,000 to go to one stage for a day. 
and then that's not even license. License costs six thousand, eight eight thousand. It's ridiculous. But when you get to some of these stages, oh, you're gonna be making freaking cold cash. So, like, uh, I got a two hundred pound bag, and I can make uh, fifteen thousand a day. You know what I'm saying? That's that's good money right there. That's good, good, but it's still, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, it's a lot of fishing to fill up a 200 pound bag, you know what I'm saying, I fish a freaking lot, and I gotta really start going on vacations now just for one day, cause I hate fishing somewhere for three days, cause 200 pounds, that's a lot of fishing. See man, this is crap, yo. This is crap, yo. Nine minutes to fish. This is crap. But it was free to get in this competition. So I'm not tripping. Hopefully I can find me another competition to get in before the night's over. But yeah, this is crap. This is crap, guys. I feel cheated. I, I, I feel cheated. I, 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 I feel cheated. Oh, oh, I feel cheated. Let's go to 35. See if it's because they're down lower. Put it right here. Well, we know there are for sure. deeper see if they're down a little deeper guys eight minutes to do something eight minutes to do something yeah boy we can't even get a little chew I feel cheated. I'm glad that competition was free, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, nothing like that. We're gonna go over here with these bubbles is jumping. Maybe small minnows will work better. Small minnows work good anyways. No matter what, they they work good anywhere. They work good on everything. But you it just depends on what you're fishing for too. You gotta look at your fish species. There's no sense in buying something if you if the fish where you're going don't eat it. So you gotta look at what map you're going to and look at your fish species on that map and then buy accordingly. <laughs> Guys, we got one. Hopefully. Yeah, he's moving. Tighten up the line. Don't run him off. Don't run him off. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Look at that crap, guys. We're not even going to get hit. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Bring him in, bring him in. Hell yeah, we slanging these jokers. Come on in there. I have no freaking time to be playing. Let's get right back in the mix, guys. Let's get right back in the mix. Five minutes. <laughs>
think that's what it was, guys. I was just in the wrong spot. Like if you should have been there the whole time under that little bush right there. I doubt it though. We'll see if we can pull another one out of there and then we'll know. This thing just gonna be chilling. Look, that's what we're fishing with that thing that just jumped in the water right there. Shad. Shiners. Four minutes. <clears throat> This, look at that bubbles right next to me. Yeah, swim over there and investigate what those bubbles are for. Get shook up. Get shook up one time for me now. Tighten my old lineage up. Oh, like you see something. Three minute mark, come on, come on. There you go, you're swimming the right way. Competition sucks. One more toss. Right in the bubbles, guys. Right in the bubbles. See what kind of difference it makes. It'd be nice if there's a bite already. <clears throat> Can we get a little shakedown? 2.30, can I get two of them in, two in this quick, quick seconds? If we got something. Or do we? Or do we? I enjoyed watching you play with your son. You and him should make videos together sometime. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, if he's playing anymore, he gets tired of playing so, certain games and sometimes. I barely get him to play sometimes. But sometimes he'll play. But, like, he gets tired of games kind of fast. Like, how I'll sit here and play the crap out of it. He'll play it for just, like, a couple of days and be like, uh, you know. But if he'll stick, stick with it, I'll play with We'll try. We'll see. Maybe he will. I don't know. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's get in those bubbles. Let's get in those bubbles. Let's get in those bubbles. Come on, guys. Hit the bubbles one more time. Give me the bubbles one more time. Right there. <sighs> yeah, we'll have to see. He might make some videos with me, though. He might. He might. There's no telling. I want. I haven't even checked to see if he's even been playing now, Nicole. Uh, <laughs> word, word. What's up, son? Level nine. It is. I'm trying to win me a uh, competition over here. I'm getting cheated though. Getting cheated. Look, we got maybe one more fish in this little old 51 seconds, guys, and that'll that'll take us out now. Oh, yeah, we got him too. We got him, guys. We got him. Pull him on in, shit. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. You can't play. You can't play around. We're finna pull you in, like, right now. No, you can't do that. We only got 29 seconds, big boy. Put me back in the game. Four pounder, guys. Let's keep it. 
see where it puts me. No damn where. That thing didn't even budge me. <laughs> 45. Guess I should have been in that little hole the whole time, guys. There goes another day of weak ass competition. Another episode of Fishing Planet with Max Raw, the finesse god. There's your results. I'm going to get better, and I'm not going to stop doing these things. I'm going to keep recording, and I'm going to keep doing them until I win one. I was in 10th place. No, I was in, I think I got like 8th place earlier, but I I've not. I didn't get 8th place. I hit 8th place and then kept going down. Gradually, I stopped catching bass. I was like, damn it, I can't catch any more bass. Okay, guys, this video is over. I'm going to come back with, looks like fishing in the rain. I'm going to try to catch some walleye. But I'll be back with another video, guys. See you later. Oh, yeah. My, uh, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man a fish, he'll eat for a lifetime.